Can't you see You're everything I hope for You're everything I need You are so beautiful To me What's up guys? It is Monday, July 1st, 2024. We're at the Bitcoin block height of 250,276. TikTok, next block. My country is beautiful to me. And I know it is for you too. And uh, even though we've been getting some wins here lately, uh, we still gotta be uh, very, very cautious. Just a reminder, guys, we are at the uh, halfway point of the year of our Lord, 2024. And um, again, just as a reminder, um, if you had any New Year's resolutions or goals, uh, it's not too late. You know what I mean? This is the halfway point and uh, get back on track. I got a six month plan that I'm doing uh, that uh, let's just say I'll be in this place a little bit. Uh, more often than I usually do because uh, I got to get right in uh, six months Roughly till my birthday. Uh, it's my last six months of, in my 40s. So My birthday is January 19th. I was born 1975. So hopefully I will get the best birthday present ever the next day on January 20th And my president and I know he's yours will be sworn in uh, into office Donald J. Trump and speaking of Mr. Trump, President Trump, he got some good news this morning. I guess he, uh, the SCOTUS, uh, they voted to uh, give him presidential immunity, not full presidential immunity like they wanted. Because they, they should have never been in this position uh, in the first place, uh, Donald Trump and his lawyers and his team. But they did give him partial immunity, which means, long story short, because again, I'm not a lawyer or anything like that. But it means that the Democratic establishment plan to uh, take him to jail or take him off the ballot or take him to court before the uh, election won't happen. So he will not be going to court before the election. And that's all. What it, that's what it all comes down to, guys. These are political, in my opinion, YouTube. These are political persecutions against a man that is hitting that beehive, that bee's nest, and he is, oh, he is... <laughs> making a storm over there uh we've been winning these last few days uh even though uh you know i don't take any joy like i said before in in uh joe biden because he's not my president and joe biden uh having a mental collapse like that but i've been i've been thinking uh this over this weekend about the democratic uh people that could may replace joe biden because Half the party wants him gone, half the party doesn't. If you didn't watch my video yesterday, I told you guys that there is a civil war. There's two civil wars going on in the demon crap party. The first one is the Palestine, Israel, Hamas, uh, Hamas, Palestine um, conflict, uh, civil war between that. But then, because the, these people are just so progressive. So you got the progressives against the establishment with that. And Hillary Clinton shut that down. And uh, let's just say the. Uh, the squad members are not going to be around. They keep leaning towards the Palestinian side. And then the second uh, civil war is now Joe Biden, if he should be president or not. Now, let me let me continue on what I was saying yesterday after some uh, a little bit of deliberation. Because my goal here in my life is to get smarter, uh, not only every single day, but honestly, I want to get smarter and more informed every single hour. That's why I'm constantly uh, taking in information. And I don't, I, I listen to pundits when they talk, but I definitely, um, sorry guys, the wind, you know, I'm the wind man. Um, I don't, I listen to their opinions, but I form my own opinions because some, everybody has one. They're like a-holes and mine's nobody special, but 
looking at the, I was looking at video after video, who they're going to replace Joe Biden with. And they have all these names, Cory Booker, uh, Michelle Obama, um, the uh, Michigan governor, Pete Buttigieg, or Pete, uh, <laughs> Pete Buttigieg, Buttigieg, whatever his name is. Uh, they got name after name after name. And although Michelle Obama would probably be, if they want, if they really wanted to win, as far as name recognition, guys, if they really wanted to win, I think she would be the, the one. I've been doing some thinking about this, and we've all been talking about Jill Biden. I told you this a couple of days ago when I said, who's running this country? And it looks like Jill Biden, Jill Biden, his wife, she's younger than him, is running this country. It looks like. I've seen and I've done some research on it. She's been sitting in the presidential chair. She's been talking and doing... Uh, you know, after the debate, you saw what she said. Oh, you did so well. You did so well, Joe. You answer all the questions, you know. And uh, like I told you the other day, she is uh, not married to Mr. Biden. She's married to power and power. Absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. And you guys know that. But great power comes great responsibility. And they have not been responsible with their power. And <laughs> what I'm hearing is that meeting they had over the weekend the, the family, the Biden family, is that Jill and Hunter uh, suggested that Joe not sit, I mean, step down from the uh, <laughs> from the presidency. I wonder why Hunter doesn't want his dad to step down. Felonies, anyone? <laughs> Anyways, jail time, prison time. My God, the, the corruption is just so thick in the air. And you got the mainstream media, like I said, they just automatically turned on Joe Biden. Because listen, they don't care who it is. They don't care about Joe Biden. They just want power. And whoever gives it to them and gets the best shot wins. They lied to all the people that were watching um, over the years. Him have that big meltdown. Now, do I think uh, Joe Biden, because he did surprise me, I'm not going to lie, being that bad. But now all these leaks are coming. I'm talking about at the uh, at the debate how bad he performed. Even for me, I don't think I've ever seen him that bad. But then again, they hide him so much you can't really tell. But what the leaks are saying now, because remember, they, there hasn't been any leaks in the White House since Joe Biden's been president. Now all of a sudden, there's been leaks coming out sa saying that um, was it? I don't want to say what it, I want to say. Uh, Asios or something. I forget what it's called. Anyways, they said that. Um, White House assistants and White House staff says Joe Biden is only good for six hours from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And once that's over, that little window is over. He tends to go downhill from there. Uh, you remember the term, who do you want to pick up the call at two or three in the morning as a president? Remember that? Uh, that just proves, you know, and again, that was 9 p.m. Eastern time. The, uh, the debate that's why they practice not only him standing up and uh, mem memorizing and uh, acting with the questions but they had to literally change his bedtime schedule for him to be up during that time and obviously they didn't have enough time it didn't work and it failed miserably so when I asked the question these last I think 72 hours I've asked this question who's running this country well everybody thinks it's Obama and I think that's partly true Obama I think Pelosi has something to do with it. Chuck Schumer, the establishment, you know, the uh, <laughs> the usual suspects, right? <clears throat> but I think the real person's in charge, the person that's actually literally and figuratively sitting in the chair is the aforementioned Joe, Jill Biden. Um, I think she is running the show and I think she is addicted to that power. And I think she may be become our next president. Now think about it. Jill Biden doesn't have to uh, really campaign it's the same name biden 2024 and harris right you got a younger version you don't have to be have the embarrassment of biden stepping down jill's been doing the job anyways probably 70 to 80 percent of the job if i had to guess i don't know that for a fact but now that the the, the layers are, are pulling away because guys when we learn about something most people are looking at everything on the surface level um the mainstream media and that's it they don't they don't pull back the layers and i that's what i try to do every single hour of the day. I'm just trying to pull layer after layer, layer back. And if I look at myself from four or five years ago on a compound basis, the things that I learn and listen to and indulge and, and bring into my uh, sphere 
every hour on the hour, uh, I've learned a lot on a compound basis. And I think you guys should do that too. Never look at things on the surface level or even layer one, layer two. Keep on pulling back the layers. But I must warn you, it gets ugly. So I think Jill Biden, Jill Biden is gonna be the one that is gonna officially be the, the United States uh, president. And Joe Biden will be the first man, if you will, and she'll be the president. Now this is this is outlandish. This is crazy. This may not happen, but from what I'm seeing, man, I mean, if I'm if I'm a Democratic strategist, this is what I would do. You know, it's 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 too late in the game because again, they rigged <laughs> they rigged the Democratic primaries. They tell you guys that they want democracy, and again, I said this a couple of weeks ago. When you hear a Democrat say, "Democrat," say democracy. It means power for the Democrats. That's all it means, right? <clears throat> they did not have a primary. They did, they did not um, let any of the, you know, JFKs of the world or RFKs of the world and the other ones, uh, there's two other ones. I always forget their names, a the guy and a girl. Uh, pretty formidable. Obviously, Biden would have probably beat them because they just don't have the name recognition, but they didn't even let them do it. They didn't have a primary. <clears throat> they didn't have a thing like Donald Trump did or those guys did in the Republican Party. Yeah, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy, uh, Tim Scott, Ron Burgum, uh, Ron DeSantis, and the rest of them. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Doug Christie, Cream Christie, the rest of them. They did all that stuff. Democrats didn't do it. And they just swept it under the rug because if you watch the mainstream media, they won't even say, oh, this is not right. This, they didn't even have it. But they'll say, oh, he's an incumbent. Why should they have it? That's what they'll say. Again, guys, keep pulling back the layers, okay? These people are liars, okay? So they put all their eggs, proverbial eggs, in one basket with Joe Biden. Trump baited them into doing a uh, debate, and it failed. It just completely failed, man. And uh, that's just the way I see it. Again, opinions are like you know what. Everybody's got one. Sorry, guys. Every time I come out here, <laughs> the freaking wind. I got to stand by the wall. Everybody's got one. That's just mine. And uh, I'm really curious to see what yours is let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and again guys no matter what happens this country is beautiful right we the people not them we the people the constitution it doesn't need to be rewritten it needs to be reread we the people guys we the people never forget that all right god bless you god bless this country and god bless the united states of america i love each and every one of you and I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.